good thing you have those because it's going to make a bunch of big I'm problems. Michael Johnson. I'm the uh, school's auditorium manager, and I'm the scenic designer and technical director for all of our theater shows. Uh, so as scenic designer, it's my job to design and uh, creatively come up with the uh, physical setting of the show that we're about to be doing. Um, as the technical director, it's my job to take that vision of scenic design and build it and physically create the actual scenery itself. For this show specifically, um, so far we've had uh, quite a bit of painting and uh, carpentry work and we're going to be doing some of the more finer detail work that we're going to be doing too, which is going to be uh, patching and hole filling, uh, followed by finishing touches of painting as well as installing the actual scenery. Overall, the challenges of, uh, <laughs> of putting on theater shows during the pandemic were uh, they, they took a toll, so it's, it's, uh, it's a big load off our shoulders to be able to be back in person. So we're happy to be back, and we welcome any and all new students who want to come and, and join us over here. I am the lighting designer for the Niles West Theater Department. So what that means is that for each show, I take a look at the script, decide what lights will work best to create the mood, the theme, the time of day, and all that kind of stuff, and decide where the lights are going to go. And then I teach the students how to hang the lights, focus the lights, and all kinds of things related to the lighting for the show. The moment when a student realizes what you're teaching them gives you back so much more. I mean, I, I enjoy professional theater, but I have gotten so much more out of teaching students about lighting and seeing them find the joy in it that I find. When you couldn't work in person, you all of a sudden realized how much you get out of working with each other and the connection that you form. I mean, it was still good to do stuff online. You got that, that feeling of being able to create, but being able to do it in person, it just, especially after not being able to do it for a year and a half, it is so much more rewarding and more emotional. It just, it, it's, it puts a new light on everything, something you might have taken for granted before has completely new meaning and it just means so much more to be able to working with the students and teaching them one-on-one -on -one than and it's just not the same at all when you're online thank you my name is caitlin Ayers, and i'm the assistant prop designer for the show uh, i'm painting these paintings that you kind of can see behind here this is what i have working on uh, we have two paintings here. This one is more expressionistic and this one's more of a realistic painting. Um, this one, so we, we got we researched pictures and then we found one that we really, really liked. And so we printed out really big, cut it and glued it on this wood right here. And then with this one, this one is, um, I don't know what it is, but well, I painted on it and I had really fun doing it. And I used all these acrylic paints over here. Wow, amazing. And then, uh, yeah, so that's what I got going. And then we're going to put them in really cool frames. So that, that'll be fun. It's fun. I really enjoy it. Um, it's a, just a bunch of, like, mixing paints and then experimenting to see what I like and what I don't like. So there was a lot of errors, but i i would paint something and then i would just be like nope and i'd paint over it so that happened a lot um but yeah it's just a lot of trial and error i'm excited for this show uh i'm excited because i get to paint and show my artwork and i'm also just excited to see the final product because i'm really excited for our first in-person show again because it's been a while so i'm really excited for this show our community performance for art is September 3rd, and on the 4th and 5th, we have two shows each. 